All right, I know I just went live. I guess I got a lot on my mind today, but this one's more of a mindset one. We've got an official card chat. It, this is just something that's been coming up for me a lot today. And when stuff keeps coming around in my mind, I like to open a discussion about it because I figure it's maybe it's roaming around the universe and might apply to some of you guys too. But this topic is raise your standards. And this is not, um, this is not an original thought to me. I was originally introduced to this concept. Uh, I mean, raise your standards is kind of common, but in this way from Ed Milet, one of my favorites in the personal development biz. And what Ed talked, the first time I heard him say this, I was like, it's so freaking true. He's like, if you want to change your life, you need to raise your standards because wherever you're at in life right now, that's because truly you're okay with it. And I thought about that and I was like, dude, it's true. Like whatever your income level is, wherever you're at with your health, whoever you associate with and spend your time with, however you manage your time and spend your day, that's your standard. Like you're kind of okay with that. And it's, I think it's such a great thing to think about, you know, and it's like a mantra for me now. It's like, raise your standards, raise your standards, you know? So little things, little things like I'm at the car wash right now. That's what I was thinking about that. I was like, this is important to me. It's important to me that my car is freaking clean. Um, this morning my cleaners came to clean my house and I normally, I am a bed maker for sure. It's like my first symbol to myself each day that I take care of my shit, you know? And, um, this morning my cleaners were coming. And so I was like, well, I don't really need to make the bed if they're going to make it. And it was like bugging me. I'm looking at it and I'm looking at it and I'm like, no, this is actually smart and more time efficient. It's all good. Let them do it. You know, but these little things, little things, how do you choose to feed yourself? Do when you, every time you go to eat and you're really hungry and it's been a crazy long, busy day, do you go get Wendy's? It's a symbol to yourself that that's where your standards are at. So every little action we do, every time we go hang out with somebody that we know brings our vibe down and we're doing it out of obligation and shoulds and all of these things. And it's, we're like, this is not bringing anything to my life that I want, but they want me to. So I'm going to raise your freaking standards. It's not mean to not spend time with people that drag you down. That's self-love. <laughs> That's the, the little inner child in you is saying, please, God, don't make me hang out with those people that bring me down and I make bad decisions when I'm around them. And when you show up for yourself and you say, yeah, no, little inner child, you don't have to. The relationship with yourself gets so good. You're inside of yourself. You're like, thank you for showing up for me, you know? Um, and so I thought I would just kind of throw this out into the universe today of like what little actions during your day are you taking to show yourself that you're raising your standards, constantly pushing the edge, you know? I'll tell you a trick I did with my income, probably, I don't know, it's probably been a year ago now. I, I looked at my bank account and I was like, oh, okay, good, everything's good. And then I was like, no, dude, you're getting complacent. And so I pretended in my mind that that would be terrifying that that would be like panic city if I saw that number in my bank account and I doubled it in my mind. And guess what? Since then I have either tripled or quadrupled my income every month in like a year, maybe a little over a year because I pretended that that was an unacceptable standard. I bet that if you found out you were going to be homeless today, that that would be an unacceptable standard for you, right? You would do whatever it freaking takes to not be homeless. So like, what about where we're at right now? Have we gotten complacent? Do we like the results that we're getting in our life right now? And even if we do, can we push ourselves a little more and raise our standard? Who we're spending our time with, how we're managing our time, what actions we're taking every day. Do you have some sort of morning routine or meditation or nighttime routine in place? Something that grows your life. Do you invest in some sort of coaching or program or something that expands you? Or you just kind of like hamster wheel, hamster wheel, hamster wheel. Cause guess what? That that's just suppressing when you have nothing to look forward to or are not experiencing any growth or pushing yourself. It gets really depressing. <sighs> it's just monotony and low vibe. So we need that. We have a desire and innate desire as human beings to grow. And so raise, raise your standards has become a mantra for me raise your standards. How are you feeling with the people you're spending time with? How are you feeling about your managing your time? How are you feeling about the way you're managing your business? The way you're showing up for your clients, your kids, raise your standards, right? That little push is so healthy for us and it's actually fun. <laughs> it is. It gives us some freaking life back, some juice. So, and the, the, I, 
sometimes I like the brutally blunt truth and it's like, wherever you're at, you're okay with that in some way. If you keep trying to change your body or change your nutrition or change your, you know, start exercising regularly and you're not doing it, that's because deep inside you're actually kind of okay where you're at. Because if it was absolutely not okay, you would do anything to get out of that. Think being homeless, <laughs> right? Um, I love another example Ed gives and he, I, it's probably in that same video. I don't remember what video is on YouTube. It might say Razor Sanders. I'm so good. If you haven't geeked out on Ed Milet's, um, just him. I love his podcast too, but just him talking. Like I highly recommend doing that on YouTube. He's so good. But he was talking about what if you were at a an event, like a conference, and you got a text that one of your kids had gotten in a terrible car accident and was in the hospital. You would do whatever it freaking took to get there. You would make a scene. You wouldn't give a crap what anybody else had to say. You would get out of there. You would like, if you got to your car and it wouldn't start, you would be like, help me. I need a ride. I need a ride. I need a ride. You would do whatever it freaking took, you know? So I think about that. It's like when I raise the standard and it's like, this is what has to be done. I'll do anything to get there, you know? So keep pushing that edge. Keep raising your standard. Keep noticing what area of your life. Is it like in your spirituality, your relationship with self, like your routine, the way you're managing your time? Are you, have you kind of like bottomed out? And we continuously do this, right? Like we continuously kind of like sink back down a level into, cause our, our brains are optimized to want ease. So we don't like kill ourselves early, right? In age. <laughs> so we have to consciously choose to push that edge. So is it in your personal life, your time management, your spiritual connection? you know, prioritizing fun for you? Is it in your relationships? The people you're hanging out with are just kind of like bringing you down a little bit, but you just keep hanging out with them out of convenience or obligation. And you're not consciously choosing to spend time around people that bring your vibe up and push you. Is it in your finances? Are you complacent? Like raise your standard. Just pretend that where you're at right now is terrifying. <laughs> it really works and pretend that double would be barely making it and see what happens. Truly, I either tripled or quadrupled my income each month from doing that, playing pretend. I did that with my body I, in a little different way. I pretended that my body, when I was first getting fit, I pretended I was already where I was trying to get. I pretended I was her. So here I was, you know, 30% body fat. And I was like, in my head, I was like lean, mean machine. I was like, what does she do today? How, what did she eat for breakfast? How does she manage her time? How much does she sleep? Right? <laughs> did she crush her workout today? Oh, okay. Yes, I, she did. And I am, you know, and then, um, also in your relationships and your parenting and your romantic relationships, like, what are your standards? Raise your freaking standard. You know, it's good. It's and don't do it in a self bludgeoning way. That sucks. That pushes your energy small. I can't stand the energy of be better. You got to do better. Blah. I hate that. That all you're doing is pushing yourself down into smallness. And then you're trying to achieve greatness out of small energy. That is not the ticket. In my opinion, the ticket is this is how I operate. This is who I am. You just bring yourself into that level. Um, w one of the most awesome things I've heard in a while was, um, one of my mindset coaches, Tony child, um, he's here on Instagram, Tony child, and he's, uh, elevated worldwide is his company. He's so freaking awesome. I love Tony so much, but we are, I was at one of his mastermind event a couple months ago and he was just on fire. He's such a good speaker. And he was saying, he's like all lit up. We're like hanging on every word. And he just goes, is there country music playing in this room right now? And we're like, um, <laughs> I, I don't know. Yes. No. <laughs> he's like, yes. There is country music playing in this room right now. If we had a radio and we tuned into that frequency, we would hear it. We just don't hear it because we're not tuned into that frequency. So tune into the frequency that you want to be in in life and now you're in it. Right? So like raise your vibe, raise your standard. I am this kind of person. I am the kind of person that keeps, takes care of my shit and keeps my car clean and keeps my house clean and spends time with my kids. I'm the kind of person that takes life by the horns. And if I don't like my job or my income, I freaking change it. I'm the kind of person who takes my health by the horns. I don't like the results I'm getting. I freaking change it and like get in that energy. I am that person already today. I'm not trying to become it. I am it. 
and then just all your actions follow suit. So anyway, just some thoughts today because it's been on my mind a lot. I just like keep, it's like raise your standards, girl. Keep going, keep pushing that edge. So just wanna share that with you guys. All right, thank you for being here. Have a good day, bye.